Hi, welcome to the SciGen video series. Today we're going to be talking about replication. We're going to be covering some different terms and talk about how you can use replication, specifically what's called host-based replication, uh, in conjunction with your disaster recovery plans. So first off, what is replication? Well, you can think of replication as putting a copy of your data someplace else. So for example, on the left here we have, uh, this represents a server. So this is a server in our main office. And I'd like to get this data someplace else. Um, you know, maybe this is a, another server in our office. You know, maybe we're worried that this server might go down, so we'd like to replicate data uh, to another server in case something goes down here, we could run our data off of here. Or we'd actually like to send our data to a remote office over here. So this is our remote location. We'd like to send something over here in case of a uh, disaster, for example. If this main office goes away, uh, we'd like to send data to the remote office. So now we're going to go over some different terms associated with replication. And two of the terms you need to be familiar with are what's called synchronous and asynchronous replication. Uh, synchronous replication means that every time a piece of data is written here on this server, uh, instantly that data is also put over here. And in some very high-end solutions, uh, the data is actually written in both places uh, before someone's notified that their data save is complete. Now, asynchronous is a little bit behind. So, for example, if you're making changes here, uh, you're going across the internet, maybe it takes about 15 minutes or so before the changes show up at this other location. That's what we call asynchronous replication. Um, so why would you want to use replication? Replication is used when you need to have what's called a low RPO or low recovery point objective. So for example, uh, if I have a lot of people typing in information or taking in orders over the phone uh, and my system were to crash, I would lose all of those transactions and that could be detrimental to my organization. So to keep that from happening, I replicate the data. So typically a, a nightly backup occurs you know, once a day. A replication typically occurs you know, near continuous so that if an accident happened at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I wouldn't lose uh, all my day's work. I may only lose 15 minutes or something like that. So what are some important differences to understand with replication? Well, the first important difference, uh, much like uh, our bare metal backup that we talked, out, talked about in some of our other video series, is the difference between just sending off the data and sending off the system image or the system partition. Uh, there are a lot of very cost-effective, low, affordable solutions that only do the data. So they'll copy maybe you know, files or data uh, across, uh, but if this entire system goes down, recovering the system exactly how it was configured uh, is not possible with a low-end solution. Typically, you need a much more expensive solution to get the entire system configuration over so that if this server were gone, you could reboot this server and it would be, act exactly like this one over here. Um, now let's talk about some different types of configurations you can use uh, with replication. Probably the most common and straightforward is what's called a one-to-one -one configuration. In a one-to-one -one configuration, what that means is I have, I have one production server mirroring to one standby server. So if you see a link here, one-to-one. -one. Uh, what some people do uh, to save money for disaster recovery is they do what's called a many-to-one. So in that scenario, let's say we've got three production servers in our main uh, office here. What we do is we send data to three servers here in our remote site. Uh, oftentimes that can be due to, uh, to save money. It may make your recovery time longer, but your recovery point is still good because you're continuously sending data across. Uh, another thing people are doing is uh, virtualization. Uh, virtualization, if you're not familiar with it, it allows you to run multiple operating systems on uh, one physical piece of hardware. So for production purposes, maybe you're running on three pieces of hardware, but for disaster recovery, you don't need quite as much. So what people are doing is they're leaving their production site, uh, physical boxes, and then they're making their remote site virtual systems uh, to save money and cost uh, for replication. Uh, if you'd like to know more about replication, feel free to give us a call, SciGem 330-668-1660. Thanks, have a great day.